Hello and good morning. Um, speaking to you today about the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. That's right, today is that day. It's the 11th of February and this is the sixth year uh, where the United Nations have been celebrating this day. I'm going to have a little look at why in this short video. So sadly, less than 30% of science researchers worldwide are women. It figures about 28%. That has improved uh, over the last well, over the last few hundred years. We have got more women into science, but we're still nowhere near enough. Half the world is women. We need half of science researchers to at least be women as well to unlock that potential. When we look at women going into STEM-related fields in higher education, uh, we find that only 3% of women go into ICT, uh, and that's despite about 90% of jobs needing um, really good ICT skills. 5% of students on natural sciences and maths courses are women. Um, goes up a little bit to 8% in engineering, but it's still drastically low. Um, and we're not really sure why that is. At first, people thought, ah, oh, well, it's obviously because those subjects are more for boys. Um, but I think if you ask, well, myself, any of the other science teachers, um, any of the math teachers, any of the technology teachers, we will all completely agree that that is a load of rubbish. Um, these subjects are they're, they're not gender specific. They can be for anyone. And so much so that actually we noticed that girls get better results in science and maths at school than boys do. And it's not just in science and maths. It's in every single subject. Um, at GCSE and A-level, girls will outperform boys every single time, and not by a bit, by quite a lot. Um, but for some reason, not enough women are going into uh, STEM careers. Um, and we want to change that. We want to, we want to improve that. Um, so if you are thinking about doing a STEM career, um, even just tempted, do come and speak to either myself, uh, any of the other science teachers, the careers guidance, um, officer, any of the STEM teachers, so your science, technology and maths teachers will all be very willing to help you and point you in the right direction. I'm going to talk to you about uh, someone I've been aware of the last few years. Uh, she made the headlines back in 2019. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic the stuff that she has done. Um, this is Professor Katie Booman. She's an electrical engineer and computer scientist. Uh, She's got a degree from the University of Michigan uh, back in 2011, 2012, and then went to do a master's and a PhD, so a doctorate um, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. Uh, and she worked very, very hard at doing all of that. Her PhD was all about black holes. And you might recognize her. Um, so back in 2019, we had the announcement that we had the first image of a black hole being taken and she led that team um, she wrote the algorithm um, she led it she was almost the, the entire brains behind it yes she had people to help her but it was based on her idea um, and before that we'd sort of gone yeah we sort of know about black holes but we've never seen one um, if you want to know why do you ask your science teacher why we've never seen one um, until recently but she took that first photo. She made this groundbreaking discovery. Um, unfortunately, she did get a lot of flack on social media, um, purely because she was a woman. However, showing how times have changed, 100 years ago, people would have ridiculed her for being a woman. Now, people were standing up and going, nope, she deserves to be here. She is, she's got the skills, she's got the talent, she's got the knowledge to run this team. Um, and people are now very, very accepting of women in science. Um, we just want to get more women into science. Final page. This final page is just a picture of some of the women that I think are absolutely amazing in science. Um, I could have found more, but uh, you wouldn't have been able to see all their pictures properly. Um, now, you might, might recognize a couple of them um, from stuff that we do at GCSE or from TV. But there are so many more that are on here, such a wide field. We've got astronomers, we've got physicists, we've got chemists, we've got astronauts, we've got code breakers. 
Um, we've got zoologists, we've got doctors, we've got loads who are on there. There's a massive, massive field for going into science. And these are some of the women that you could be joining. Thank you very much for watching. Um, do have a great rest of the day and please do consider a career in science. Thank you very much. Bye bye.